another dawn another day so if you are new to the channel i do buy stuff and sell it online and that is how i make a living we sell all kinds of clothes electronics games houseware stuff toys collectibles you name it i sell it right so we've got over 20 orders to pack but before we do we got to refuel get a bit of food down us i've got three potato cakes and a cup of tea no sugar not too much milk either i like it pretty plain in the words of thomas skinner Herbosh. you know what while we're here we'll start with this guy since the last video we picked this up for 20 pound in a charity shop and we've sold it for 150 pound and there is that sale so we paid 20 and we got 150 and that took about two three days to sell so nice quick turnover on that one so we do have 23 orders to pick so we get them picked and packed nice and quick which was that billy bass fish that we got recently we got 30 for that as well as a few other bits but they're the uh they're the interesting ones we've got an answer phone there that doesn't owe us anything anymore 13 pound about 50 pound profit on the phones there we've got some doctor who card bundle there which is pretty cool we've got 13 pound for those we're in loads of profit with the cards now the only thing is i forgot to keep them stored inside so they are bent well not bent but they've curved in the uh the cool air so i've already messaged the buyer obviously what's happened not great from my end um so we'll see they might cancel they might not um that's just my mistake always guys if you're selling trading cards and stuff store them inside in a well insulated warmer environment because that happens so that goblet game for 18 pound paid a pound for that build a bear for nine pound we paid a pound for that samsung wireless speaker receiver we paid two quid for that we got 25 if you get the dongle with that it's worth a lot more so look out for those we did pay a couple of quid for this lord of the rings illustrated edition we got 29.99 i actually did photo it without the slip cover so it looks a lot smarter um but obviously they do see the slip cover in the later photos but the first photo always looks a bit better and that's just because it was a little bit damaged so those orders there have already been picked obviously now we've got to go and get the rest so we've got a few clothes we'll do all the clothes at the end we've got these oakley polarized sunglasses we've got 60 pound for those we did pay four pound for those those are in there and a the little slip case and stuff pretty cool so we've got 60 pound for those so those two sales there are lovely so that was in the evening and that was in the morning after we do have five games to pick so i will pick those next so i have actually switched up so all the books are down there now and all the games are in here. I've split them up because it was getting too full as a joint box. So this is the listed media. So we sold that. We sold that. We sold that. We sold that. And we sold that. So all of these games, we did pay a pound each. We got 12 for Red Dead Revolver. We got 18 for Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. We got 11 pound for Star Wars The Clone Wars on 360. We got 14 99 for Scarface. And then a little bit further up, we got 9 99 for Lego City. Speaking of games though, we have just had some more Jiffy bags arrive. So these ones, the white ones, just send one game. So all of these five games will just go in one of those. And they are £15.60 for 100. So about 15p a bag. 16p a bag if you want to round it up. Absolutely swear by these. And then we have got a bigger one, which is in the box down there. And they send two games side by side, but you still get a large letter. So they come in handy too. Um, I have linked everything I use in my business down in the description. So if you did want to get anything like that, it is all linked down below. If it was up to me, I would just send large letters all day. I'd sell games all day long. But unfortunately, I can't be picky with what I sell. Right, I'm going to run for a quick drink because my mouth is drier than Ricky Lee's elbows. Right, we need to pick this book set, the Brambley Hedge, $24.99 on that one. Paid a couple of quid again. We've also got them Wilson indoor trainers, but they've not paid for those yet. Uh, paid a couple of pounds for those as well. So there are those in there. And that is that one there. So we've got $24.99 for that. I always say look out for your book sets as well as box sets and stuff like that. There's always ones that are definitely worth picking up. And there's obviously some that just aren't as well. You've always just got to search. Okie dokie. So we sold this Lord of the Rings Risk for 18 And we sold this vintage Kangol hat for 18 as well. So we'll pick those. That is the Risk there. We paid £2 for that one. And then the hat, I believe, is just in there underneath David Beckham. And there is that Kangol hat, like a faux fur early 2000s and 90s hat we did pay a pound for that hat and now the rest of the sales are just clothes so first one we need to pick is this vintage patramama wool zip cardigan really really nice great brand to look out for we picked this up back in manchester i think we paid about three or four pound you would have seen it on my instagram if you do follow me on there if you don't follow me my instagram is there i do lots of content daily on there as well okay so i picked the rest of the clothes this is the patramama cardigan i was talking about beautiful cardigan paid for we got 55 for that we paid a fiver for this cable knit ralph lauren 
We got 25 for that. Paid a couple of pounds on Vinted for this Tolkien cardigan. We got 25 for that one. I paid a pound in a pound sale for this Tommy Hilfiger jumper. Not in great condition. We got a tenner for that one. We had some bog standard MS jumpers knocking about that I need to get rid of. So someone bought two of those for £15 all in. So £9 there and £6 there. Then I sold this gorgeous Signum shirt. Really nice design on that. It's a medium, but it's really, really big. Paid a couple of quid for it in Manchester and we got 20 all in for that. And honestly, that's a great deal because that is really high quality. Like it just pops the colour on it really really cool design does anyone recognize this by the way if you do i like you so in terms of packages today dead easy clothes dead easy they go in a clear bag the mailing bag i'll show you that this coat expensive don't want to get in damage so this will be boxed games going in them jiffy bags like i said and then over here a couple boxes maybe some mailing bags nothing too crazy at all so this shouldn't take me long at all new offer eight pound yeah, I'm taking that. Paid a pound for them. Right, so yeah, all of these have been photographed. I need to transfer them over to the tubs as well. So that's one thing I'm going to get done before we get going as well, just to clear the space. We did just sell this little book set. Well, here you're back on 100% feedback as well now because I just had one removed. If you're a business seller and you've got a query about, you know, a negative feedback or something, you can go on eBay for Business UK on Facebook, message them. They're always there on the live chat during like nine to five or whatever. And they can usually help you out. So happy with that. So you sell a game on eBay or a DVD, etc. You get your jiffy bag with the bubbles, pop it in, pull the strip, and then that is ready for a large letter. Now I write on every parcel what's inside. So when I come to weigh them, I know, you know, I put the labels on, I know what's in there. Right, with something like the shirt, I'll fold it up nice and neat, as you can see there. We'll get a polythene bag, which link down below. This is just to kind of keep things nice and fresh and dry in case there's a leak in the mailing bag. You'd be surprised how many parcels do get a rip in and stuff. So you just want that little extra bit of protection for your parcel. And then depending on the size of the parcel, I've got orange mailing bags which are like the regular size. We've got pink ones, which are a bit smaller. And then we've got some really big gray ones and we've got some big UPS ones as well. So whatever we need, we've got the size. For this shirt, the pink bag fits perfectly. So that's ready to go as a small parcel now. Last thing to do is just write down what's in the parcel. All right, and now what I do after I've done one parcel, I'll weigh it. So we've got a parcel, 368 grams. I will go to parcel to go, as you can see there. It's free to sign up. It's just a postage comparison website. You link your eBay and then all your eBay sales come up. So you can just do them nice and quick. So there's the shirt, vintage Signum shirt. I'm going to go small parcel. I'm going to put 0.4, choose service, and then every parcel shop. And that one is done, ready to go. So it's very similar to what you do on eBay with your large letters through Royal Mail. You just put your weight in what you want to buy in terms of the postal service and then you print your label off at home so this is exactly the same as what you do on ebay so lego city undercover i'd weigh it put that in there second class one pound five p and you do the same so on then you can print them at home stick them on and go straight into the post box mortal combat was 18 pounds so i've sent that tracked 48 and it comes up at two pounds 70 so paid a little bit extra but then you know it's going to get there tracked they can't say it's not arrived kind of thing same again with that though can go straight into the post box so there we have the five labels ready to go for the five games and then i print the labels on this zebra gk 420d you can get any four by six label printer but this is probably one of the best in the market so yeah i'll link this one down below as well and they just print out nice and fast so that is those printed for royal mail all right enough jibber jabbering though let's get these done we can get out right so in terms of my boxes i've got my ups boxes down there which you can get free on the ups website we need to find a box for this coat it's the last one last parcel to do from the rest there and this is where all my boxes are so the small ones down there and then the bigger ones which we'll need are in here right we're labeling up good news on the cards uh the buyer's absolutely sound as a pound and they've said yeah perfectly fine no worries don't worry about it so awesome won't make that mistake again with the coat we did decide parcel for so we've got good few royal mail ones to go there working hard as usual in there right so this is where charlotte does all her work her stocks up here anyway there's a printer i'm just gonna steal a pack of crisp don't tell her essential for the day lush 420 perfume it's a cbd like a really calming perfume love it right we've got cargoes air force just gotta get a little funky thumbnail what's this like a sherlock holmes kind of vibe today this is a vintage made in england tweed blazer that got nice. content leaks for two pounds right what we're we doing today we're gonna go to elberton first yeah because i need to drop royal mail off okay i've got royal mail too right where are we going with these are we going we'll to go key news 
the, the, new, the nice one. one, yeah. And then more charity shops. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Are you going to load up the car? Do you need my help? No, you sit down, oh, darling. You sit down. No worries. No worries. Yeah, we like coming in here to our parcels, don't we? Yeah. Sorry? We like coming here to Oh, our thank parcels. you. All we like to have you is it's easy and simple. You load them so I just straight in, aren't you? And they're yeah. gone, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. We have quite a lot of people being funny, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the one stops are a bit, you know, because oh. it's not their business, is oh, it? It's, it's, it's kind of the one. One stop is yeah. on my task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us. You know, we, we own the business. Yeah, so, so it helps. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's all done for you. Thank you, thank so you very much. much. All right, thank you very much. Oh, go with us, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Well, that's He's nice, nice isn't it? That's nice and refreshing, isn't it? Mm. And my granddaughter's nice too. Yeah. yeah nice Key news. Mel, nice view as well. Kind of. What you got? Jojo Mama. You know this that baby brand? Mm -hmm. It's the mum's version. You yeah. pay what you want. Is it um, pay what you like today on all everything? Yep. yep. One shop closed. That shop's closed. So yeah, that's the dude off Jurassic Park. Yeah. But it looks like he's the only thing in there. I don't want to pay a fiver just for him. <laughs> These buttons are like not matching now. It's the style oh, of gold and silver. Let you off. That'll keep you busy. We're now in Devonport. Um, and our first stop off is raiding the um, scope bin. Um, Wonder what's in there. Yeah, that's what we're going to go and take. Like, you know. Shot. Shot! Google says four o'clock, we've decided. Mm -mm. Three o'clock for us. Yep, so we're not going there now. Now what? What do we have here, Charlotte? Some lovely cast iron pans. The Crusade. A milk pan, lovely condition. Well, Chasseur. Made in France. Heavy that. Yeah, I can barely lift it on my wrist. Good Didn't ask. Look... No joke. <laughs> now we'll get those. Yeah, they'll look easy. I'm looking at that, I think that's good. Five pounds for the whole set. Yeah, reeks of every parcel damaged. I don't send it with every. Still. I think that's it. Right, so back in the garage, we're just going to spin through everything that we got, to be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are for eBay, his ladyship, her ladyship. Should be £10 each, I'll do both for £19.99. Yeah. Yeah, this dress here in particular, the brand is one I haven't heard of before. It's from Sugar Hill. Mm -hmm. And that same dress was going for £24.99 in the same print. So nice. anything that's a unique print, I always grab anyway, because I know I'm vintage, I'll get easy money for it. So John, let me have these kindly. Yeah, so... She has got other bits, but we'll just fire for her. We're not interested in that. Yeah, we're not interested in dresses. <laughs> What's it? Betty? Lindy Bops. Lindy Bops. You got three of those dresses as well, didn't you? So they're vintage tea dresses. Sold my last one on eBay for 20 something, so. Or if not, be a vintage. Oh, this one's nice. I should have this one. So that's the same brand, Lindy Bop. Yeah, they're really nice. Certain market for them. Yep. Some brand new neck shoes. Mm hmm. Worth £35. They're really pretty. They're in like a jacquard embroidered, brand new, easy flip. How much you pay for that? It was actually the charity shop said you got to say how much you want to pay. And that always makes me and John feel a bit awkward, but today we'll kind of just like give you a number. Well, yeah, I paid three pound for that in there, which yeah. is like a Tiffany Tiffany style like stained glass lampshade. So really nice. Yeah, so you had to say how much you want to pay. So I could have said one pound or ten pound. One pay. Yeah, one penny. <laughs> so I got that yellow one, which is kind of classic. Sea salt, it's a vintage enamel pan. You got, lid. you got three of those. Three of them, one small, one medium, one large. I won't get them all out and branded. But I sell quite a lot of um always keep a look out for like mid century, nineteen seventies. I'm getting very Andrea Hills vibes here. <laughs> you just done a laugh as well. We both like crockery. Yeah. She doesn't know who I am, but I like watching her. Soul sisters. She's a sweet lady. That's pretty much everything really, and then some kettle whirl and um other bits that so your viewers want to see, they're here for the main man. Um, got these games for a pound each. Nothing special in there, but they're uh, they're good like feedback fodder. Some are like six to ten pounds, some are a little cheaper. But for a pound each, they're just nice ones to fill the store up. Paid a fiver for this Joe Brown's trench. Nice pattern on there. I thought it was funky with the different buttons at first. It's all good. I should get about twenty five for that. I got one in the twenty p cell, and it went within ten minutes for twenty pound plus postage. Right, and then the last lot I paid twenty pound for. So we've got these chasseurs. French 
pan. Milk pan. Yeah, so that's a heavy one, that. Same again, same brand, made in France. Griddle pan. Griddle pan. I don't cook, you see. She does all the cooking, so I don't know much. I, I just sell them. Yeah, that's all you need to do. We've got this Le Creuset, and that is size 18. Size 18? It is, that's what... That's no, 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 just when we laugh, it reminds me of clothes. <laughs> Well, I've, this is the first one I've ever picked up, so the first I'll ever sell. I've only ever so, found uh, it once. Okay. Shout out to the, the global thrift doors. Miss our videos. They'll be back. Waiting patiently. Mm. Also in the £20 bundle, we've got this Ted Baker shirt. It's quite nice. It's kind of like, it's like a weird rib feel to it. Like on it's the textured embroidery. Yeah. So they're embroidered, those little um, pieces. Yeah. Ted Baker jeans. 36 regular on those. Pretty standard, and then some Ted Baker trousers as well, which are 36 regular. Pretty nice. And then we got some inch blue baby shoes. We searched them, they, were, they go for about £15. Another pair of the next heels shoes things. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm not the, the shoe seller in the relationship. If you find stuff out together, we normally just split it or just like one of the others have it. Yeah, like the dresses, like I could easily sell the dresses, but you'd do better on vintage with them. And you enjoy selling those. And then we got some Usborne readers as well, which I'll do big bundles. You love of... a good kids bundle, don't you? Yeah. Love bundles of kids. <laughs> and cut. So yeah, all of that. So the books, the pans, the jeans, the trousers, shoes and all that. We paid £20 for that, so we dead happy with that. And we got a Scrabble set in that as well, oh, we? yeah. Also awesome included in the £20, we got a Scrabble Deluxe, which is like the really nice wooden version. It's got 60 years of Scrabble celebrating. And it's a spin table one, which are very desirable in the world of travel but boards. It's, it's like the wood on the outside it's really nice we're keeping this for ourselves um but if we were to sell it i think it's like a 40 pound set so it's in a really nice condition as well i've taken it apart it's beautiful and it's got all the bag and everything looking beautiful and if we ever find an upgraded version like a wood one we'll probably sell that one on if we find like a fully wood one then we'll, yeah. we'll upgrade again at the moment, we've got the cardboard. So if anyone ever finds a big wooden Scrabble board, so, Monopoly, yeah. like the big wooden Monopoly to sum up, we're, we're definitely in the market for. We love a good game. So let us know. Are you doing 10 listings today? I've Yeah, I've got 10 on my phone to list. Right, so I, I need to do some photographing. Mm. So you're going to go now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to go. Take all your crap with you. And then I'm going to get some work done and keep vlogging for the day in the life. So this is where Charlotte normally leaves me for the day. Yep, yeah, then I'll go. And I don't in. see her till the morning then. Look me up. Yeah. In the cupboard. Now I've got to go and cook. Bit and... of ketchup there. I haven't got any more ketchup, John. We're having spaghetti bolognese, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Right, so we've got 10 things that I need to list tonight. So I'm going to do them shoes. We're going to do this bundle of books. We'll do them baby shoes. We'll do a few games and the pans. And that should cover us for a 10. I might do the lampshade as well. Jeans and clothes. I don't photograph in here, so we'll save that for tomorrow all wrapped up now it's pretty cold in here quiet day on ebay today not much movement so hopefully it picks up this evening i think i've done about 30 quid so far so very very quiet day i hope everyone's having a good week so far obviously it's wednesday by the time this comes out but um hope everyone's smashing it hope everyone's doing well and um yeah let's just get these photos done before we do that i'll just tell you the plans of the garage um so i'm planning on getting a lot more of these tubs as a as a first we're going to replace the green cabinet and we're going to replace this rack in here just because it is a little bit old and it is a little bit twisted um so it kind of doesn't move at the bottom but it's kind of pokes out it's a little bit funky so we're going to get a couple of those there or maybe three all the way along once we take that cabinet out and we'll have a lot more space then other than that we could have two sets of racking there and then here we might have another wall of tubs either side but with the high ceiling though you can stack right high which is cool uh, it gives you a lot more space got plenty of other bits the other day as well these walking dead volumes i got one to 13 50p each in a charity shop which was really cool got them listed at like 60 q build series one listed them for 24.99 they were three pounds and then i got this walkman as well which is listed for about 50 paid a couple of quid for that and then there's just some other little bits and bobs that are popping up in the unlisted pile there got these bookends little pac-man picked up some more jurassic world dinosaurs so got quite a few of them now but i think i'm keeping them i'm just gonna have a massive jurassic world dinosaur collection by the time i pop my clogs so yeah let's crack on anyway this iron man i just searched up is all right it's a steelbook one you can get like 15 to 20 on that it's not in real condition the actual steelbook so just on those bits there um a lot of people do ask about my light setup and like what i do 
these are just mdf boards with like a vinyl sticker over the top these new ear lights a lot of retailers use these they can have like a really bright light or you can like use a warm light as well like so you can't really tell much of the difference on the camera these lights are linked down below i've used them for years they are fantastic marker pen on the la Cruce. What do you need? Bit of isopropanol. We'll do the job on that. Right, ignore the sticker residue for a second. But watch that pen. Obviously, it's not coming off with anything. Put that on there. Ta-da! Any permanent marker or anything like that comes off with ease. But like I say, the photo setup is pretty minimal. Two lights, your backdrop, and then your product sat in the middle if anyone was wondering what this desk was by the way it's just a fire door flipped on its side shout out to james collects that was his idea but it works perfectly absolutely perfectly no legs on it it's just sat on that and it's, it's perfect all right so later on i'm going to be listing those so i'll pop all these up here all the new listings are going to be appearing right here. My eBay is linked down below. You did want to have a nosy at any of the listings. Also down below, we've got our Facebook group, Happy Days Resellers. Get involved there. My Instagram's down there if you do want to get in touch. And there's plenty of content down there on Instagram. It's John Luke YT on Instagram. And then down there is all the Amazon links as well. So the lights, the scales, all the packaging supplies. If you want to get any of the ones I use, it's all linked down below. It is that time of the day though. It's that time of the day. You know what time it is. I'll let you guess. Amazon o'clock, so I'm saying, right, it's time to draw the winner. £20. Who's going to start off 2023 as the first Amazon gift card winner? All right, so we've put in the last YouTube video. We've filtered out duplicate users. We've got 101 unique comments. We're going to press this start, and we're going to see who's won £20 Amazon gift card. Before I do click start, just exit out the video a little bit, hit the like button. It helps me out massively, helps the channel grow. And it helps me do more of these in the future. So, yeah, if you have got this far in the YouTube video, hit like. I hope you did enjoy it. And, um, yeah, let's see who has won. George Ellison. Great content as always. First sale was a motorcycle jacket, £3 to £19.99. So George Ellison is the winner of the £20 Amazon gift card. Well done, mate. Congrats, George, mate. Get in touch on Instagram, link down below, and um, I'll be able to get that sent over to you. It is 10 past 6 now, so later on tonight, I'll be listing those 10 items, and then I usually post them on Instagram for everyone to see. Be chilling out, me and Shara watch a film or a series. We'll be eating our spaghetti bolognese, sleeping, and then we'll be back up tomorrow to do it all again. I hope you all did enjoy today's longer day in the life video. I'd love to do a few more of these. So yeah, if you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. It'd be great to have you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.